So to find out the secret of how they're produced, we've come to Willenhall in the West Midlands. This is home to Asa Abloy's Yale and Chublock factory. They have been making locks and keys round here since 1818 and now produce more than 10,000 every day. Inside their testing lab, they employ a motley collection of curious machines to test every lock's reliability and strength. But surprisingly, the basic design was first invented over 4,000 years ago by the ancient Egyptians. Inside the lock, a cylinder contains a series of metal pins, each one a different length. When the correct key is inserted, the key's ridges push the pins to exactly the same height as the cylinder's edge. This allows the cylinder to turn and the key to open the lock. But if the wrong key is inserted, the pins protrude from the cylinder holes, preventing the cylinder from turning and keeping the lock firmly shut. To ensure the locks are tough enough to cope with being opened and closed an average of 20 times a day, they're cast from zinc, which is melted at 420 degrees Celsius and then cast in moulds. But whilst zinc is perfect for the larger components, it isn't suitable for the all-important cylinder and pins. That's because these parts need to give ever so slightly. So instead, they're made from a softer material, brass. The pins are cut using a computer-controlled machine, which is constantly lubricated with oil, allowing it to both cut and bevel every pin. It's so finely calibrated, it can cut pins less than one centimeter long to within an accuracy of just one thousandth of a millimeter. Next, the cylinders need to be cut and drilled. For that, they use the extraordinary IMAS machine. This might look like a chaotic process, but in fact the IMAS machine has an incredibly soft touch, as the slightest impact damage to these components could cause the lock to fail. With the barrels cut and drilled, they're fed to a conveyor ready for assembly. It's now time to make each lock unique. Well, almost. In fact, each batch is made with a different level of security. For the highest security rating, they're made in batches of one million, each with its own unique key. To ensure the key only fits the lock it's intended for, each one has a series of grooves along its length, together with a unique set of steps along the top. The size and combination of these steps is chosen at random by a computer. The greater the number of steps on the key, the higher its security rating. Once the keys are cut, the next step is to create a lock cylinder to match it. To do this, the cylinder needs to be filled with pins that correspond exactly to the height of the key steps. So these clever machines automatically read the steps on the key and in less than four seconds, fill the cylinder with the correct length of pins. The key and cylinder are now joined together forever in holy matrimony.